Hello civil engineers, welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we will see how the concrete quantity has to be taken care of. Okay, we did up to the plinth beam uh, PCC part now. Now we'll try to do for the concrete quantity. Shuttering will do it later. Okay, now how it has to be done. It's very simple. Whatever measurement you have taken no, from here, you can copy the same thing. So what I'll do is because wherever the PCC length from column outer to column outer, there only concreting will happen. So what I'll do, I'll select all this part from here, okay, in this way. I'll select everything from here, okay, and I'll say control C, and I'll bring it to the concrete part, that is concrete for plinth beam of M25 grade. So this is, okay, this is M20 actually, not M25. Let me do this as uh, M20, okay, because we're using M20 grade. So why this is not coming? Wait. Control C and yeah. Control V. Now it's okay. Fine. So everything has come now. So what all changes will happen? Very simple. You want to find the concrete quantity for the plane beam. I'll show you the image now. Okay, so this is your PCC quantity. Okay, whatever you can see here, isn't it? So this is your PCC quantity, which we have found. This width was, we have taken offset from both the sides and this length we calculated and the thickness was this part. Okay, done. Now we'll go to the concrete quantity for plinth beam. So this is how your plinth beam looks. Once it is concreting, it's done. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how your, which is that? I'll show you this part. Yeah. So this is how your concrete looks, isn't it? Once uh, this thing is done. Yeah. So this is how it looks. Hmm? So we know that this length we took from column outer to column outer. This length from column outer to column outer we took. Length we took breadth will take now and if i multiply this by the depth i'll get the concrete quantity here agree with me this is the breadth of your beam this is a column outer to column outer is the length of your beam and if i multiply this by the depth i'll get the total volume of my concrete that is required in the plinth beam okay maybe pb1 pb2 pb3 or gb1 gb2 gb3 so again i'll go back here this length remains same only the thing is the width is not 0 0.35 why the width is directly 200 this is for pcc we have to add PCC offset there. But in concrete in quantity, whatever is the width, that itself will be a concrete quantity. So width is 200. So I'll directly input 0 0.2 here. Okay. Now I'll drag. Everywhere it's the same thing. Everywhere it is 200 mm width. So no problem. I'll drag till here. Okay. Done. Now come to the depth part. So this is a depth, no? So depth, this is 0 0.075 was for the PCC. But the depth is 350 in this concrete beam. Okay. GB1 is 350. Everywhere it is 350. So what you'll do? Just put here 0 0.35. Done. And then drag it in this way. Done. Drag it up to this point. Finish. Everywhere you've got the answer. And now quantity is 0. Point, what will be your con quantity? So 0 0.2. Wait. Yeah. 0 0.2. Wait, let me do this. I think. I'll do this calculation. So the calculation will be how much? 4.995, 4.995 into 0.2 into 0.35. So it will be 3.4. I think why this answer is wrong. Anyhow, we'll we'll do that correction. Okay, equal to 4.995. Multiply this by 0 0.2. Multiply this by depth. Okay. So the quantity is, let me verify that answer once again. So length is 5 meter, breadth is 0 0.2 and depth is 0 0.35. Yeah, it is 0 0.35, correct. Okay. And this is, this also will verify 4.75 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.35. 0 0.33 good so no problem here it's same thing okay 
and everywhere it is multiplied by one. So the total quantity also will be 0 0.35. So in this way, you can see how much concrete quantity we have got. Finally, we have got 10 point 10.67 cubic meter for concrete is required and this part also I'll reduce that yeah so 10.67 cubic meter of a plinth beam concrete is required if I want to do the casting of all this 47 beams okay up to G, GB 47 we have okay that's how it is so uh, just now what you have to develop the develop what you need to understand is that just imagine the amount of concrete that is going into each of the beam. If you put a beam of 5 meter whose breadth is 200 and depth is 350 then only 0.35 cubic meter of a concrete will go. And if you try to see here no you try to see here almost it is, it is in the range of 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 see 0 0.21 this is very less 0 0.03 because it was a very small beam but look here. All other beams like 5.20 almost it lies in the range of 0 0.2 to 0 0.331. Okay, in that range it is lying. So you can use this as a kind of a thumb rule. You okay? could you can use this as a kind of a thumb rule. If your beam size, if your beam length is somewhere in between, uh, you know, uh, 2 to 3 meter or 3 to 5 meter, uh, the concrete quantity which goes into that will be hardly 0 0.3. You can take it as a rough estimate. And then if somebody gives you this is the total length what we have in a building, can you quickly tell me the uh, concrete quantity which goes? You don't have to do the calculation. See, calculation will give you accurate value. But if it in case of thumb rule, now you can remember, no, you see here 3.96 is the length, breadth remains same 200 by 350. How much concrete is required? Only 0 0.28 cubic meter. If length is 4.56, then 0 0.32. Hardly how much changes has happened? 0 0.04 changes has happened here, right? So in this way, in this way, you can try to remember the value or you can try to make your own thumb rules so that you can do a quick estimate. Okay, that's how it is. See again, if I'm taking a length of 5.80 and if breadth is 200, depth is 350, 0 0.40 cubic meter of the concrete will go into this. So in this way, you're supposed to do the calculation and the plinth beam concreting is done. In the next lecture, I'll explain you how the shuttering has to be done because in shuttering, you need to understand few things. Okay direct formula you cannot apply the reason is that if you see here the shuttering for the plinth beam will be something like this this is how the shuttering quantity so will not have a bottom shuttering i mean bottom uh, bottom will not come only the sides will come this side that is this running meter multiplied by the depth and this running meter multiplied by the depth you are supposed to do so that is why a little bit of calculation is required so i'll take that in the next lecture how to calculate the shuttering quantity up to here, you have understood the concrete quantity and all other part, right? So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.